Well guys, as you know, I am now an Apple fanboy, paid by Apple, Apple shill, everything Apple's I'm not, but I do wanna give you guys a little office tour of my new desk setup, my new workstation for editing video. I wanna to talk to you guys about some of the peripherals that I use for my Mac mini that's replaced my Dell XPS 159560. Now, first up, we have the computer itself. It's a Mac mini, it's boring. Wow. It's got 256 gigabytes of storage, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I bought the model with 16 gigabytes of RAM because I read reports of people having issues editing larger video on the eight gigabyte model. This is kind of the sweet spot in regards to value. And I paid $65 more than I would have in America, tax included. It was pretty cheap here in Vietnam. Now the first peripheral I'm using is a no name bought on Shopee, which is kind of like our version of Alibaba here in Vietnam. It's a really cheap $8 ergonomic mouse. I'll try to find one similar to this on AliExpress or Amazon for you guys. I have wrist problems for when I had to have my wrist reconstructed. Let me put that photo up for you guys of the x-ray right here. It was disgusting, but this ergonomic mouse is great. It's wireless. You have to charge it like every 15 days or maybe twice a month, once a month, and it works fine. The next thing I'm using is a 60% Dario, Dario, Dario keyboard. It is a 60% keyboard, gaming keyboard with optical, or yeah, with mechanical switches. Um, Dario is like a cheap, knockoff China brand that makes peripherals, and the quality of the peripherals are okay. It's got RGB lights. I have been using it for two years now and it works fine, it works great. The monitor stand I'm using was $24. I'll put the name of it up on screen. It gives me a good amount of articulation and a good amount of movement and it holds the monitor to my standing desk and that works totally adequately. Now the monitor itself is a little bit better. And I'll put the exact model name of this LG monitor, but it's a QHD 24 inch IPS display. It's got a matte screen, which I love because it keeps the glare from my windows off the screen. It makes it easier to see. And color accuracy is pretty good. I need to get it calibrated. I need to get someone here in my house to come calibrate it for me. This monitor is great. It's big enough for my needs. And the QHD resolution coming from a 4K laptop to me was necessary. It's a 75 Hertz monitor. I know it's gonna get asked about the refresh rate of it, but 75 Hertz and it supports G-Sync, but none of that really matters because I'm using it with a Mac. Now, the first accessory kind of Mac specific accessory that I'm using, which is not really Mac specific, is a Basius uh, four port USB-C hub. This is not a Thunderbolt hub, but this does provide, or it can provide 65 watts of USB-C power delivery to a laptop, which is great because my next laptop is going to be an Apple device and I'll be able to charge it through that. It's not Thunderbolt to make that clear, but that doesn't really matter because there's no USB-C ports on it. I really just use it to connect a bunch of my mechanical USB-A spinning hard drives, my mouse, and my keyboard. And for that, it works totally fine. The next peripheral I'm using uh, for SSD storage is a 512 gigabyte Western Digital My Passport SSD. I've been using this SSD now for three years. I got it when I got my uh, new model of XPS 9560 sent to me. I bought it in Bangkok, Thailand. This SSD has performed flawlessly for me. The other SSD I'm using is a Samsung T7. Now I had a bunch of headaches with the Samsung T7 uh, in regards to it randomly disconnecting from my computer. I reset it using the Samsung application for Windows or I reformatted it and updated the driver on it. And that fixed all of my Samsung T7 SSD problems. I've seen a lot of other people talk about their issues with their Samsung T7s, but mine is now operating fine. Everything else here is kind of basic. It's kind of not a mess, but it's kind of like a spaghetti cable sandwich. I have my Mac mini mounted so that the front of it is face down and the vent is up to vent out heat and it works fine. 
links to all of the peripherals that I have on Amazon if you guys are wondering, or Ally Express if you guys are wondering about the lights. One of them is a Xiaomi smart lamp. I've got a Xiaomi bulb, smart bulb here, and just like this regular movable light thing on my desk. And overall, it works fine for a standing desk setup. Everything is totally adequate. The desk I'm using, um, that's a little bit more complicated for me to explain. All of the desks in Vietnam, or all of the, yeah, all of the desks in Vietnam are one standardized size. They're all so many millimeters tall, but this extra wooden desktop top that I have so that I can stand is, was custom made for me here for like 65 bucks. And basically I can take this small wooden desk, go anywhere in the country of Vietnam that uses the same standardized table height, put it on top and I have a comfortable standing desk.